If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the cheapest way to get all the 99 overall rookie premier cards. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking, now, guys, before anyone kills me here, right? I have not been on YouTube the last few days. As you guys saw in this video yesterday, I've been dealing with some personal stuff and I have not watched anything. But I've been wanting to make a cheapest way to make these premieres for you guys. I had my idea, if you guys watched me a few days ago, I did reference the idea I had that I was going to look into. So I don't know if someone else on YouTube may have done this, guys. Like, despite con like popular, popular belief on YouTube, a lot of us do not sit around all day watching other people's videos to steal them. That is not, that's not a common thing that we do. So I don't know if anyone else has a similar method. I mean, it's pretty self, it's kind of common knowledge. I guess there's some people who really look for this stuff, so they may be. Not sure. But I will be making a video on how I plan to do it. I will be doing all the math here for you guys live. Got my calculator out ready to go. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that naughty bell, boys. Come join the family. Gives you a big thumbs up, guys. We are just about two months out from Madden 21, so super hype. Should be getting Madden 21 news tomorrow. So stay tuned. Be here around 9 a.m. for the Madden 21 news, guys. But let's get into this video. So guys, here's the thing we're gonna do this. Coming over to sets, as you guys do know, to just cover the grounds here. Each player costs 10 tokens. We know that. So you're gonna need 10 tokens to create one, which gets you one in Madden 21. And one now. So you come on over here, 93 overall rookie premier exchange, 27 days, 23 hours, 30 minutes. You got 27 days left. Well, sort of 28, sitting at the 23 hours. So this set is exchanged two 93 overall rookie premier players to earn one rookie premier token. So in my opinion, this is the best one because it's repeatable an infinite amount of times. Others are not. So this one can be done as many times as possible. So here's the thing. When you do these and you go to search these up, they go for about... 26k if you find if you fill them out right maybe 23k so by that math right there it would cost you just roughly 50,000 coins per token which would mean 500k per rookie premier player now what i prefer to do which i was looking into and it's infinite so that can give you this at least gives you like a baseline so you go over to store in my opinion the best way to be doing this is using some of the best ways to do this is by using these rookie premier packs so you do have about 20 i believe starting so the best way to do it is probably opening up the Rick Premier Packs, in my opinion. So that gets you, that's going to get you about two of them for super cheap. I'll go over the rest after this, but for now, start with the Premier Packs. You're going to open one, right? Open one here. So you do get one guaranteed player. You're going to need to open two of these packs. So let's see. Silver card. And there's a chance to hit here. Remember, so you get a Legend card. Power up. There we go. There's our Rick Premier card. So this card, was this pack was ass. But at the end of the day, you could probably sell everything in here for about 7k. So let's say this pack costs you approximately like 18k. Now, guys, that was a bad pack. My average is that you'll get about 11k worth of value back, at least 11 to 15k worth of value per pack. Let's open up one more. So we got two or two packs in. So now we have one rookie premier token. Cost me 50k, just like the other one. But you usually have things to sell back. 87 Jawan Taylor, and there we go. 93 Joe Burrow. So here's the thing. Again, not hitting great here, but if you sell everything one by one in this pack, you could probably get back here like another 7k, which would leave you at a grand total of about, give or take, 36,000 coins worth of players. Now, the thing again, guys, you have to remember that this isn't always going to be this bad. And the other one, I, I pulled a 95 player in the other one. I pulled the NFL draft player in the other one, 97. It's possible to pull some other, to pull some better stuff. On my side account, I opened some of these, trying to get them done. Guys, I was pulling some pretty good stuff. In my personal opinion, this is the best way to do it because you get the chance, at bare minimum, you will get a Rick Premier player at par value, if not better, but at best case scenario, you hit big and you actually gain a ton of coins. You can pull an Ultimate Legend, LTDs, you can pull a bunch of, you can pull some pretty good stuff. So let's just say, my average is that when all said and done with all these packs, you probably will have paid about 15K. Let's go with about 12K, I'm thinking, 12 to 13K worth of pack. So for every pack, for every pretty much Rookie Premier token, you'll probably end up spending a net total of 50k, but what you end up actually spending will probably be close to like 25k. So 25,000 coins times 10. And there you go, that is 250,000 coins. So it will cost you approximately 250,000 coins per Rookie Premier player when you're using this method, which will get you about two of them. Oh, it should get you exactly two of them, actually. So it'll cost you about 500k for two of them, which prior to that, it was costing a little bit more if you didn't have a binder. Next, moving on from that method, once you get those first two, which I already gave you guys my rankings. If you don't know my rankings, go check out my video. I'll be ranking them if you guys want to know what to choose to take. Then, you're going to want to come over to sets 
and figure out how you can get a few more because i mean i don't have to go over all 10 obviously because not everyone most people don't even do more than one or two depending on their coin count uh if you're gonna do all 10 guys obviously you're gonna need some more than just those first two but guys if you do those first does those put those pack methods plus your mutt rewards plus you played the solo and you do all that and you have mutt master you literally can get like five of them for so cheap you're gonna get like two two and a half for free you can get two from the packs and then one you get to finish up with the extra tokens you have so next guys let's say you want to get like cd lamb cold Komet, trish Dwarfs, any of the other guys left that you didn't get done after that now you go back to the rookie premier exchange and you look at this and you're like how else can i do this so in my opinion you always want to do these banger ones you can't do many of them but you always want to do them so right here exchange 96.99 guys in my opinion the way you can do these well is if you get a buy now 150k for six tokens is honestly kind of a steal in my opinion because technically that average is right around to about like 270 grand total if i'm not wrong here so because that's 60 percent so if you do six yeah it's just about 270,000 worth at the end of the day so it's slightly more than the pack method but that's not bad so i'd recommend you get this done now here's the thing with this one though this one a lot of you guys may have this in your binder i mean not everyone has a stacked out binder i mean i did because i opened up a lot of packs towards the end of the year but if you had a stacked out binder go on ahead and get this done i think you could have gotten this done mm, i want to say two times maybe three max i know i already did it at least once or twice i don't know if it's three or two but you gotta get these done right here get you a whole nother one so at that point you're already at six if you did all the stuff i said so you easily can get up to like six for like i'd have to say 700k and you have about six of them and that includes mutt rewards solos everything you could have gotten at this point maybe five to six depending so after you're done with that obviously check this make sure if you see if you have that done apparently i did not i was short slightly which kind of sucks but i'm not playing a bunch of solos i have to catch that up at this point in the year it is not worth my time to play other solos now for some people maybe but not worth my time and my i just i can't grind out solos that don't have a reward for me at this point and moving on to these guys i'm not really a fan of some of these like right around here three of these for just one token i don't like the one token ones they take a while and these cost 27k so you're actually spending more here you're, you're you're buying three players worth the same price as two players here i think this is the best one once you do all the banger ones like this one and i did this one just because i had so many 80 overall leads sitting in my binder 85 pluses but once you finish those i wouldn't you could do this one guys this one's not bad but do i want to get rid of so many 90 pluses maybe not for you this one's just way too many like I, this would just take me too long to fill out but in my opinion once you get all those done the best ones to do once you get out the big ones are just spam this one this one's probably the best way to get it done for me quickest and easiest for me and then like i said you already have a pretty decent amount done at that point and now for the rankings guys you more or less know who i i said i like i mean as of now i have chase young devin queen patrick queen i just looked him in the face and called him devin queen again i don't know why devin queen sounds so i've been calling him devin queen for a, a, a while now guys it wasn't just like a mistake in that video i think even on discord and stuff i've been referring to him as devin queen i really gotta work on that patrick queen patrick queen all right, we got this Chase Young and Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Now, again, guys, my rankings are based on who I think will be the most usable. But at the same time, you have to remember some cards may not be usable for the way you play or some cards you really want. I think Jeff Okuda might be the next one I will be doing more than likely. My rankings pretty much stated that anyways. But I think I'll be going with Jeff Okuda next once I get my next one. All I'm waiting, I just to start selling some stuff to get my coins up. Because obviously I'm a little bit short if I want to finish one of these. I don't believe I have any tokens sitting, do I? Nope, I have no tokens ready to go. So I do gotta go pick some up, guys. But that pretty much wraps up the video for the cheapest ways to get the Ricky Premier cards. I personally think you guys want to get... I might, and for me, I think there's about like four here that you really need. I think you really need Patrick Queen. You really need Chase Young. Mm, I don't think you need Jeff Okuda, but I prefer to have these three right here. I did Clyde because I'm, I'm a fan of Clyde. I like him on the Chiefs. I think he can get a lot of upgrades. But I think you really want these two this one and then joe burrow's fun but i don't know if he'll be the most usable one because he was gonna be a quarterback and there's always better quarterback options especially if Rick premieres don't get all the abilities sprinter and all other stuff that they seem to never get but guys that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are new to the channel make sure you down below hit that subscribe button turn on but boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what your methods to get some Premier cards are right now i'm not my thing wasn't too crazy wasn't too you know complex but it was there See if it, hopefully it helps you guys out. But guys, that's about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. This should be the only video for today. There's not much in Madden right now. Although, guys, they will be dropping news tomorrow, I believe, at 9 a.m. So stay tuned for that. Turn on your noti bell for that. You guys will want to see this Madden 21 news. We're hoping it's good. They delayed it like a while. So hopefully it's pretty good, guys. But that's about it. I'm out. Peace.